Hi, it's in here. I was uh, looking at the black walnut tree out in the front yard here, and I uh, was seeing all these walnut nuts falling down and the squirrels eating them. And I got to thinking, I wonder how you plant those things. So I uh, did a little research and I found out there's several different ways of doing it. It's not really an easy process. You gotta pick them up and you gotta husk them and you gotta soak them and you gotta stratify them and then you may or may not get a black walnut tree. But anyhow, this video shows how I did it. There's two ways you can stratify these things. One is uh, you go through all the pre-process steps to get up to there and you can put them in a plastic bag with some moist soil and you can stick them in a refrigerator over winter for three, four months, whatever. Or you can do it the way I decided to do it, uh, which is another option, is uh, you can do all the uh, prep work on, uh, on the nuts and then plant them in a planter outside and just leave them winter over out there. And then when spring warms up, uh, those seeds or nuts that are viable will germinate and they'll start coming up. That's the method I chose. And uh, the only problem with that is that you have to secure the top of that planter so the squirrels can't get in there. Because they will get in there and, and uh, pull them nuts out and eat them. So you won't wind up with any trees of any sort. So anyway, this city shows how I uh, harvested and husked and prepped and and then I secured the uh, the uh, planter from the squirrels. So yeah, take a look at it, see what you think. And if you like that video, uh, give us a like. Uh, make any comments you want, and you know, give us a uh, subscribe to our channel because there'll be some other stuff coming along. Let your friends know. And I'll see you about halfway through this video, and. Uh, uh, I'll show you uh, what we're going to do next. So, talk to you a little bit later. Okay, we're going to start taking the husk off the black walnuts. And since there's a lot of steam, you better have some gloves on. I'm going to put the husk in this bucket. And then I got that bucket there with water in it. And we're going to have to wash them all off. Make sure you have some gloves on because you don't want to get this steam up there with you. And we'll wash them all off. And uh, we'll push them around and get them all clean so that the, the hard shell is clean. And we'll soak them in water to see which ones are viable. So, I've got a whole, whole bag of them right here, and here's one that Dempsey's already done. I'm just going to throw it in there. And that one, here's one I want to take apart. Okay, now they should just, I might have to get a knife. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. It's starting to come out. Now, they don't look pretty too pretty. We'll get all that off. It's a little hard to... I've never done this before, so... Let's try this one here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a knife or something. Okay, you got me one of these box cutters. Going around. Let's pull them off like that. 
cool. And if they sink, they're supposed to be good. Okay. So out of the three I put in there, only one is sunk. When they float, that, that means that they're not really viable. Look at that, how they look. I think I got 38 or 40 of these things. Somewhere. Oh, I got a bunch of floaters. Uh, we're going to continue this and we'll find out how many we'll wind up with. The green ones, they work a lot better. If they're dark brown, they're dried out, and they're real hard to get out, so I ain't going to do that. Because most of them float in there. And just take like that, and I can just peel that right off like that. Much easier. First grade. That's much easier. This one's got a brown spot and it'll be a little harder. But it's mainly green. Yeah, you can take a look how how dark that water is in there. We're going to stir that up and rinse it out a few times and get rid of them floaters.
Okay, I rinsed them off. Now we're going to let them soak for 24 hours and we'll do some more rinsing and then they're ready to put in the soil. Potting soil. Uh, it's a little chunky, so we're going to mix it all up real good. And we get it pretty smooth here, and we'll add a little bit of water. You don't want to soak it, you just want it so it's moist. So when you squeeze it, it might clump up a little bit. But you don't want to put too much water in here. And uh, just stir the water in to get it as even as possible. It'll all migrate together and soak together after a while anyhow, but you want to you want to get a little bit moist. Just stir it up real good. A little touch more water on there. Now that pot you see by my foot there, I'm going to pour on top. That's actual uh, potting soil. Yeah, my daughter used to grow some uh, tomato plants on the uh, deck this summer. And she got quite a few tomatoes out of it. So instead of throwing it away, I'm going to put this right on the top and spread it out. And uh, we'll spread that all out and then we're just going to lay the uh, black walnuts on top of that. And I've got a second pot after I put the nuts in here and uh, water them a little bit then I'll pour that second bucket on top of there and then that'll be all I need to do so here's the nuts I think I got 25 of them and we're just going to spread them around in there they try to get like three inches between them minimum, uh, but because had so many nuts there, uh, some got a little closer than that. But uh, we can thin them out next. Yeah, put a little bit more water on there. You don't want to get them too wet on there. It says to keep them moist until it freezes over, so. I'll just put this a little bit and then I'm going to just pour that other potting or that planting soil on top. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it turned out that the amount of soil in these buckets was just the right thing. So I got about two inches of soil covering up the nuts. I'm just going to firm it down just just a touch. You don't want to pack it too much. Just get it nice and level on there. I always like wearing wearing gloves. To, that stuff can stain your hand pretty good. Yeah, we'll just spray it down a little bit. We get done with this, and uh, all we need to do now is. Uh, is set it outside. They're all ready to go. Uh, we're going to have to put a top on there to secure it from the squirrels, but that'll be here in a little bit. You'll see that. But at that point, they're all ready to set outside. Well, there you have it. I've got, uh, I believe it was 25 walnut nuts planted in my outside planter. And they're all ready to put outside with the exception i got to secure the top of that to keep the squirrels out. And uh, I decided to put a wire screen mesh on the top. And it's, uh, the way I attached it is probably a little bit overkill. But I wanted to make sure that uh, the squirrels couldn't get in there. One advantage of doing this is that you find out what nuts are germinating in the spring and uh, it'll be easy just to pick out the healthy ones and transplant them. 
the only thing that I'm not sure of yet is if all 25 come up, what am I going to do with 25 black walnut trees? But we'll worry about that when and if they all sprout up. So watch the rest of the video. It shows you how I secured the top. And I'll talk to you at the end of that video. I got some uh, half inch wire mesh here I'm going to put on the top of that. And uh, that'll keep all the squirrels off. I'm going to cut those up to size and, and uh, zip tie it on the top and uh, secure it for the squirrels.
Here I'm bending the uh, quarter pieces in and I'll do this in all four corners and uh, I just cut back the wire mesh there along the seam right on the corner and uh, bend it over then I'll uh, put the zip ties in there and that secures all four corners and just assures the squirrels can't get in at all that's all and once I get all this done then it's uh, about ready to put out outside Here's a close-up view of how I overlap the sides and tie wrapped them. And pretty simple. All four corners makes a solid connection. Don't have to worry about the squirrels. Well, there's the finished product. And you take a little closer look at how the corner is. Uh, Sure it'll work. I'm sure it'll be safe from the squirrels, and uh, we'll just uh, have to wait till next spring to see how it all works or not. A lot of zip ties, but it'll hold them out. I had this back by the fence and I decided to move it up against the garage for the southern exposure so to get more sun uh, come springtime when it starts to thaw out. Well there you got it. Uh, I got the top on all secured there. It's uh, just some wire fencing I picked up at one of the local big box stores. Like I said it might have been a little overkill but this way I'm sure the squirrels won't get in there. Since I put this outside the other night, we had like uh, about an inch of snow and the whole thing got all covered with it and then it just melted down in there. So it's got plenty of moisture. It'll winter over. I'll just let the snow pile up and let it thaw out in the spring all by itself and wait and see how many, if any, I'm sure some will, how many germinate and how they look. Uh, then I got to determine what I'm going to do with uh, maybe up to 25 black walnut trees. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. Make any comments. Comments would be appreciated. So would if you subscribe to the channel. And uh, once I decide where I'm going to put them, I'll, uh, I'll make a video about uh, where I planted these things and how they're progressing for the first year or so. So anyhow, thanks a lot for watching. Tell your friends about it. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.